Hello, c'est Jean-Marc from Minibox, and today we are talking about the integration of uh, Minibox uh, Mini Metaware Test System with uh, um, a, a VNF from Copper Mountain. And uh, Copper Mountain has been kind of the pioneer uh, with the USB VNA and their, their remote control VNA, if you, if, you, if you want, where you have the UI on the, on the PC and you have the, uh, the, the head unit uh, uh, attach on, on USB. Here we're using the Cobalt FX series. Um, that's, uh, that's made of uh, a base unit uh, that's zero to nine gigahertz uh, VNA. And then we have two extenders, uh, the FET 1854, uh, that bring us to a, a, a range of 18 gigahertz to 54 gigahertz. So that's right in the, that's right in the lower band of the capabilities of Millibox, so that's uh, that's great. And they have they have other extenders that can go up to 330 uh, gigahertz, so that brings us like in the uh, in the subterrains domain. The interesting uh, part of this setup is the fact that the uh, the the extenders uh, can be kept uh, close to uh, the measurement points. And uh, that's, that's important because Minibox is modular and you can go from an MBX2 like I have be, behind me. Uh, you can go to an MBX3 or an MBX4 and it gives you like two meter of far field uh, measurement. In that case, it's, it's, uh, it's really beneficial to have the, uh, the, uh, the extender unit close to the, uh, the point of measurement and, and they, they may be kind of far away. And uh, we can do that with this, uh, with this unit. The other benefit of using that kind of uh, product is, of course, the, uh, the USB part of it. The fact that uh, you control uh, the VNA locally from the, from the PC, and uh, then you have the, the mini box control software and the VNA, all that under one screen. And then I'm going to show you that uh, right now. So here we can see that on one side, we have the uh, mini box software, uh, the, 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 the positioner and the, the controller where we're doing the acquisition in, and, and visualizing it in real time. On the other side, we have the, uh, we have the VNA where we're doing the acquisition. So with the VNA, there is a, there is a lot of uh, advantage for passive antennas where we, we not only connect, uh, collect a single point uh, for the radiation pattern, but we are collecting the entire trace. So in our case here, we are starting at uh, 26.5. We're stopping at 40 gigahertz. And we're doing acquisition every uh, 500 megahertz, so that gives us a lot of data points uh, for a single uh, for a single sweep. So that's pretty uh, pretty powerful. the The outcome of this uh, is the uh, is the uh, CSV file where we collect the, the all the data from the the, the the position, and then the traces for each position in H and V. So now the plot is complete, and we can see the uh, the heat map in 3D um, give us a, a sense of the uh, capture that we have uh, we've, we've done. And we, when we close it, uh, then we see a rendering in a rendering in in 3D of the uh, the, uh, the 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 sweep that we just uh, collected. So that's just for 40 gigahertz. But as I just uh, told you, uh, we have similar radiation pattern for all the frequencies uh, in the in the trace for every point of the, of the DNA trace. So as you could tell, um, we have here a pretty compelling setup with a, a millimeter wave and echoic chamber, plus a 3D positioner, plus a, a, a cobalt a USB DNA. This setup probably gives you the most modularity in terms of, you know, you can extend the mini box size, you can extend the, uh, the DUT capacity, and you can also extend the, uh, and, and adjust the, uh, the, the extenders to your frequency needs. So that gives you like uh, a lots of uh, capabilities uh, and expandability, as well as uh, a very affordable and decent setup to start with. Um, if you have any question, don't hesitate to contact uh, us and uh, talk to you later. Mm -hmm.